This is called the omega-3 index. Oh, it's really an important marker of our long-term omega-3 because our, our red blood cells stay around in our system for like 120 days. So it's a long-term marker of your omega-3 intake. And there's been a variety of studies um, done from Dr. Bill Harris out of the Fatty Acid Research Institute, so I'm an associate sci a scientist there, showing that people with what's called a high omega-3 index— Which so is a lot of omega-3. A lot of omega-3. Their omega-3 index would be 8% or higher. That's considered high. Compared to a low omega-3 index, that would be 4% or lower. The average omega-3 index in the United States is about 5%, so it's on the low low range. People that had the high omega-3 index, in other words, they were either eating a lot of fish, like salmon, and or supplementing with fish oil or microalgae oil, which is another is a marine source of these omega-3 fatty acids. They had a five-year increased life expectancy compared to people with a low omega-3 index. 